Once again, we find ourselves at our Visio, and we need to go to File and New, Organization Chart, Wizard. Ta-da! And there it is. I want to create my organization chart from information that's already stored in a file or database. Other option is information that I enter using the wizard. If you're going to do that, you might as well just type them all in on your own. So these are the types of databases we have. Text files, org plus, which I don't know what that is. I'm not familiar with that. I'll be honest with you. Excel, which is our, what we are going to use. Microsoft Exchange Server. So if you have your contact lists, or I shouldn't say contact lists, if you have your global address list in your Exchange Server, oh man, that's all you need. Think about that. If you're using Exchange and you have your GAL in there all ready to go, well, <laughs> your job is done. Or any ODBC database file. We're going to use an Excel, so let's go ahead and select Next. And it asks us here to choose which kind it is, and we're going to use the Excel file. We're going to ask it to find that file. Hey, look, there it is. But before I go ahead and finish this, I want to show you that Excel file before we get any further. So let's go open up Excel and take a look at it. This file has the names of all of the employees that we're listing on our chart. We have their name, their position, their location, their supervisor, who they report to, the department that they work for, their telephone number, and their email address. Now, I'm showing you this because these things will come into play a little bit later on, where we're going to drag this information and how we're going to display it. We'll see that the important thing about creating this list is this column here, the supervisor, because this is going to know, this is going to tell Visio how to lay the data out because it needs to know what that superior person is, what the superior shape, who that is, the supervisor, and the subordinate. And now all of that is what's here. And it is in this column, supervisor. We're going to, there's going to be a point where it's going to ask us where do we want to pull this information from. We're also going to be able to add all of the information in this file to that shape, to that card, or only show some of it there and hold the rest of it somewhere else so it's easy to access. And we're going to look at that. Trust me. So I don't need this open. I just wanted to show it to you so you know what it looks like. So let me close this up. No, I don't believe I made any changes. And we can close Excel and get us back here. So we specified that. Oh, and if you're using an Excel file, it needs to be closed when we're doing this or it won't be able to access it. Let's go to Next. Now, choose the columns, the fields in your, our, your data file, our Excel file, that have the information that defines the organization. Name. Let me select the drop-down. These are all of our column headers. Now, Name is what Visio is looking for. If I didn't have name, if I said um, surname or, you know, employee, something, it may not necessarily recognize that that's the name, but I could always go down this list and pick what it is. But it is name, so that's what I want in my name section on those box. Reports to. Now, it's not recognizing supervisor. It If I had that column called reports to, it will recognize it automatically, but in our data, the reports to is in a column headed by the word supervisor. So that's what we want. First name, optional. This would be if I had two columns, one for first name, one for last name, but I don't. So we're going to leave that blank and choose next. Now, data field. This represents our shape. This is what's going to show up right now. Hank Richardson, owner, CEO, on that first shape the top of our org chart because what's on there the displayed fields are name and position let's go ahead and let's add location department supervisor well hank doesn't have a supervisor telephone email 
It's not showing me those, but I'll show you later how we can add those if we need. In the interest of saving space, we're just going to put in name and position. And I can change the order, but I want the name first and the position. So this is good. Let's go to next. In here, data file columns. This would be listed all of the all of these, all of our column headers. And actually, let's do this. Let's remove all of these for right now. Shape data fields. Our shape data window, which we haven't gotten out yet, but we're going to very soon, is where all of this information is going to be held. We already decided in here, we only want to see on our sheet name and position. But in here, if we want to add all of this other information, we can put it there. Let's go ahead and let's add the email, name and position. Location isn't necessary because we know that all of these people are in Chicago. Supervisor, sure. Department and telephone. Okay. Actually, let's take the email off just just cuz. I'm going to go ahead and choose next. Now, your org data may contain too many employees to fit on one page. You can specify how much of your organization to display on each page, or you can let the wizard define each page automatically. Right now, we're going to choose this. We're going to come back and do this in a few minutes. We're going to tell it who do we want at the top of the page, the top executive, or some of these people. We'll leave a top executive for right now. And don't worry about this. We're going to talk about this a little bit later. And we'll click Finish. Wait a minute while it's processing, doing everything for us. And boom, there we go. Move this thing out of the way. Now let's put it up here again. And you say, hey, what the heck? There's only three shapes. But look down here. Six pages. Remember how these work? These buttons here will help us move through. But let's go to page one. And let's zoom in. And we see something that looks like that. Page two. Three. And so on. Four. Wow, four is pretty big there. Who is that? George Gibbs. Wow, he's got a lot of people who report to him, doesn't he? And we let Visio break those pages up for us. And maybe it did a good job, maybe it didn't. I will tell you that quite often, it doesn't do the greatest job. You usually want something a little bit better. Let's take a look here and go to page two and see who's there. Jennifer Owens, IT manager. Well, that's here. Hmm. So it's showing me her and all of her people, and that's not too bad, I guess. Let's go to page three. Sh Cheryl Hayes. Well, where is Cheryl Hayes on here? She's down here. So see, it's kind of random. Page four was George Gibbs. And George is right there. See, it gets a little bit nutty. What we're going to do is we are going to organize this and put it the way we want to. So I'm going to close this. Do you want me to save it for you? Nah. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training videos, please visit www.trainsignal.com.